Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore on device LLM inference using media pipe LLM inference API. So long story short, you know, we are going to see how we can inference LLMs on mobile devices or, uh, you know, a client side in a browser without using the uh, NVIDIA's GPU, which is in our machine residing in our machine. But we want to utilize Web GPU, which is also a succeeder of WebGL. We'll talk about those things. But uh, you can now inference these LLMs like Gemma 2, Phi 2, Falcon and the other LLMs on in your browser uh, and also on the mobile devices like an Android or iOS. Okay, and for this purpose, we're gonna leverage MediaPipe Inference API. MediaPipe is a Google product. Okay, they started a few years back with their posture recognition models and similar services. You know, with, with in that high-level API written in C and C++, but has wrappers on Python and JavaScript and other libraries. Now, we're gonna leverage MediaPipe LLM Inference API. You know. Uh, inspired by TensorFlow Lite earlier, if you are aware with TensorFlow, I hope you are. And I'll show you how you can now inference these LLMs in your browser on you know on a client side. If you want to probably do not send your data to any probably to a server, you can every to everything you can do it in a uh, like a client side and on in, in browser itself. Okay, and this is what I'm gonna show you. Okay, now. Uh, if you look at my screen here, I have something called on device LLM inference and you know, if you follow the official repository, you will have a different screen. So I have done a bit of changes on the CSS and the styling front. Okay, so the functionality remains the same, but the app will look a bit different because you know, if you go through the official documentation, that's a very uh, a bad UI kind of thing. This is also very bad, but this this makes sense now if we ask a question here uh, uh, tell me the recipe to cook a pizza or something like that okay now once you do a get response you see the speed also uh, the tokens that it is generating tokens per second uh, you know you can see now we have the output within few seconds and it's everything happening in the browser, of course, they will be using Web GPU in the back end. You know, if you are not aware of Web GPU, we'll talk about probably we'll touch that piece as well. But this is what we are doing. And uh, for this, in the back end, we are leveraging Media Pipe LLM Inference API. I'll show you that. I already have, you know, you can see in my tab, there are Gemma by Kaggle and the Media Pipe GitHub repository is open. We're not going to write any code. I will give you the entire code repository that I have. I'll put, put it on the GitHub and you can just take it to run this one. And you can extend this further. Now. Uh, it supports web so in web you can of course you can see I'm doing it in web but you can also do it you know on uh, an, an Android or an iOS device as well it's very easy to set up I'll show you the steps uh, for all three of it and the, currently the model that media pipe inference API supports uh, are uh, Phi 2 Gemma stable LM and Falcon okay so you can load Gemma 2b in either 4 bit or 8 bit they are all quantized okay they're all been quantized to run this on a in this kind of devices or, or an embedded device like raspberry pi and things like that okay now the speed is really you know uh, uh, fast guys like you know the token that generating is really great and also from a performance standpoint uh, this is really performance so it's performing well as well there's less hallucination I've checked it uh, on multiple use cases but you can do it now I'll talk about the use cases that where this kind of things can be used I'll look at your question if I'm gonna ask here is uh, what do you mean by blockchain okay so for example if i ask this kind of questions okay uh even if i ask wrong like there's a type or something but it got it and it gives you and you can see everything is happening in the browser on the client side you're asking a prompt remains everything here nothing goes you know and you can see here uh the output that we got now uh you can set max new tokens as well those i'll, I'll show you the code in a bit but this is what we you know i have uh i'll not say this is built because we are not building anything here we just took the code and did some changes but i'll show you how you can do this okay now where you can use this guys because you can use it in uh, different use cases the most feasible use case i see for these kind of uh capabilities that media pipe has come up with are two one is the extension 
So if you are building a Chrome extension or in extension in the browser, if you want to solve like scrapping something and summarizing some details or, you know, chat with those details or any other task like named entity recognitions and things like that, then you can probably use this. And the other can be also if you build a uh, low latency uh, uh, based use cases. Now you can utilize this, you know, for those purposes, everything is happening in browser using the web GPU and that's how you can use it. Now, how you can do that guys? That's the question. How you can set it up in your machine and do it. Okay. So let me walk you through. So what do you have to do first? Okay. You have to go to this Kaggle repository. I'll give the link in description. That's called Gemma. You know, you can see it's uh, on Kaggle and you have to download. You have to come here and then you have to download this which is Gemma 2B IT. You can see it says IT and it's a TensorFlow Lite model. So you have to download GPU int 4, but to download it from here. So you come down in the file explorer and then click on this download icon. Once you download this icon, it will download it. You can see I have here in a folder. So my folder name is LLM underscore task. So what you have to do, you have to create LLM underscore task and then you have to download this model here. Gemma 2B IT GPU int 4 bin and then you need these two files that I will show you here. I will give you these files in, in my GitHub repository. You can take it. Now in these two files there are two things. Let me first show you the index HTML and then I have index JS. So there are two files for the web part and the model is a separate uh, four, four bit quantized model in the bin format that you see here of the Gemma 2B. If you want other model like Phi 2, Falcon, Stable LM, you have to first quantize it in the similar format and then you have to export, uh, you have to uh, download it here or export it here. Now, I have some CSS styling. You can look at here, just ignore that. You, know, you can design the web app if you have the capability. I'm not a web developer, but I understand a bit of things uh, in that. Now here I have a container. So you can see it's a container layout. Uh, here this is a container layout center of the page and, and now I have a title and then I have an input text area that you see uh, so this is an input text area this entire thing that you see is a text area which can take a paragraph and then we have uh, output result text area that's it and then we are calling the module which is index.js so now let's go to index.js in index.js, I want to say that, okay, you have to use this CDN content delivery network from this CDN. You have to pull this uh, media from media pipe. You know, we are using a library for, of course, from NPM. You can see it over here. And then we have input, output and a submit. These are all uh, get element by ID. It's a JS code that you see. It's the input, output and the submit button that you have over here. And then if you come down, this is the model path. If you have your model somewhere else, you have to give the path here. Now it says display newly generated partial result to the output text below that you see and this is the main function to run inference where what we are saying we are uh, have few things that hidden you can see uh, max tokens randoms you can give that if you want you can also use this inference parameter feel free to use that okay uh, the inference parameter first we are loading the model once the model is loaded then only you'll be able to type your question and ask the question so first when you are running it for the first time it loads the model that's what it does and you know it generates the uh, response and then you can see submit value get response first it will be disabled and then if anything goes wrong it says fail, fail to initialize the task okay and then you just run the demo just calling the uh, function okay now this is what we are doing so these two files that's it okay and then you'll be able to run it now where what is the source guys where are we are getting it this from okay so let me just write for example quickly write a python code to uh, write a Python code in fast API. Fast API to hit a weather API, something like this. Okay, let's see that. Endpoint. Now I'm going to ask this question. Let's see if it's good. You can see it's giving you fantastic, right? So you can see how quick this is. You can use this in embedded devices, low latency use cases, Chrome extensions, and things like that. And if you did anything if your client is asking that i'm not going to send anything to your server everything on the client side probably you can also use uh for that purpose as well very this is fantastic right i loved it now this is the samples media pipe and if you want to do it on android i have tested it out it's working fine but i'm not going to show you the video will get a bit lengthy what you have to do you have to download this for android if you want to do it you have to download this folder you can download it from down git 
if you want to just download these uh, subfolders, if you want to clone it, download it, you can use it uh, using downgate. It's a very good service. You can use it and to download it. Now, once you download that, you need Android Studio. Okay, so you open Android Studio, open a project, existing project, and then just follow these steps. This four lines of steps. It will ask you to. Uh, uh, it will ask you to first do a Gradle sync. You have to do that, and then it will ask you to give the path. So you have to give the path of your. Probably let me show that. Okay. If I can quickly show you, if that's a possible. But anyway, let me explain. So you need Android Studio for Android. You need the model to give that. So if if you are using a device. Uh, inbuilt devices like pixel or anything or if you have a if you are using a device simulator that is fine you can also connect with wi-fi or your usb uh, with your mobile phone but for that you need to keep your developer mode enabled so if your developer mode is enabled then you can do that and you can see i'll just uh, i'll just show you what you have to do you can see this is where i have given my model path you can see it's in the data local tmp it's like loading right now guys it will uh, indoor studio is always like a bit slow but data local tm you have to go to this inference model you can see i'm inside inference model dot kt okay uh, and let me just do this is how if you load the file if you download this if you download this folder this is how it will load okay here in the android studio you have to load it and you have to change the model path wherever you are keeping it you have to keep this in if you uh, if you go to view inside view you can look at tool windows in tool windows you can look at device explorer and in device explorer it's, it will come if i'll just say okay pixel 3a you know, it will come up with a device simulator i'll just skip you can see this is connecting to an emulator here and uh, and you can see this is where you can keep it you have to go to data and then data will have uh, local you can see this is local folder and then inside temporary temp apps you can see i have kept my gma 2b gpu in for me i'm not running it will again then i have to build it and it will take a time but if you do that you have just to hit the run app it will build it and it will open and you can ask questions similar way we are asking questions over here that you see on device llm so i'm showing you both the thing i don't have ios so i'm not showing it but this is for android the same thing you can follow for js so let me go to js thingy now once you go to js this is how you have to run it the two files you know you have to download the model change the model name in index.js and run this python hyphen m http dot server 8000 it gives you a compatible compatible server to run it but the only thing is that if you run it this folder you will see a different screen than this those things will be here some is small but i have just made us changes so the the agenda was guys in this video to show you that how you can use media pipe you know uh, uh inference api uh, to basically run this uh, using web gpu which is an you know very emerging web standard designed you know for computational tasks like graphics video gaming you know machine learning tasks earlier we were using web gl but now we've been moving to web gpus and things like that so on the js that's what it uses now this is fantastic so you should uh, give it a try and if you have any question thoughts feedbacks if you are getting any error please let me know in the comment box okay i will give you the repository uh, i'll give you the code in my github repository find the link in the description go through it fork it run it and let me know uh, if you have any questions thoughts or feedbacks you can also reach out to me through my social media channel find those information on channel banner and channel about us uh, if you like the content i'm creating please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys share the video and channel with your friends and to peer Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.